Hello my beautiful people, welcome back. Today we have this beautiful, sassy, red and gold makeup look camera. Get it together. Um, what the heck I was saying? I forgot. Today we have this beautiful, sassy, red and gold makeup look. Uh, it's giving uh, baddie. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see how I created this beautiful makeup look, then uh, keep on watching. As you can see, I already applied the tape and also the Pillowese eyeshadow base. I'm going to start with this beautiful red shade. I'm going to have all the products listed down below, but mainly I'm going to use this mini eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. This is called Forever Dynamic Dynasty. So I'm starting with the red and I'm going to apply it close to the tape and mostly on my outer part of the eye. And I really didn't want to use black because I thought this is gonna be a lot darker. This is like a dark wine shade, but apparently it's not that dark. So I did apply just a little bit of black as you can see here. So I'm going to pack this shade. No, 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 no. I haven't done a half cut crease in a very, 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 very very long time. Okay, this is super fast and easy. I would like to think this is very beginner friendly. I have something in my eye. Very beginner friendly, as I was saying. On my other eye, I went with this wine shade. So I don't know if I should do the same steps because I feel like this is like not dark enough. You can barely see it, which I'm not a fan of. But using it separately, I'm sure, is a nice color. But I want more definition in this area. I want a little bit more smokiness. So I'm picking a little bit of black eyeshadow with this tiny little brush. And I'm mainly going to apply it in this area. Then I'm going to blend it slowly upwards into the red shade. So you just want... A hint of black in there so I'm blending this black with this tiny little brush uh, you need to be a little bit precise okay like stay focused in that little area and I promise everything is gonna look just fine no, 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 no. and by the way this took like less than 10 minutes because I didn't knew what to apply in this area oh my goodness so I went with a Anastasia eyeshadow, which I'm not really a fan because I thought it's going to be a little bit more sparkly, a little bit more, you know, boom in your face, but apparently it's not. So I think I want to go with something on top of this um, shimmery shade right here, but let's focus on this eye now, okay? Going back with the red. I'm telling you this is super fast and the end result is gonna be freaking awesome just trust the process okay have you guys watched Cruella oh my god I watched it last night and I felt in love even though I thought she's gonna be a lot meaner but she isn't she was pretty rude though with her roommate but i did enjoy the movie let me know if you guys watched it if not i totally recommend is cruella from 2021 i had no idea i'm telling you tiktok like i'm learning a lot of stuff from tiktok every single time i see like scenes from a movie i go and i note it down and then I go and I look for the trailer and if I like it, I'm gonna watch it. If not, I'm gonna pass. But I discovered a lot of banging uh, movies from TikTok. It's insane. So I had no idea about this Cruella movie and I have more noted right here. I also enjoyed The Witches even though it's not as great as Cruella. I did like that as well. Yeah, I have a lot of um, movies noted down. Alita, 27 Dresses. I think I saw this movie a long, long, long time ago, but I don't remember it. So I'm gonna watch it maybe tonight or... 
tomorrow night. Next I'm going with this shade. It's like a grayish type of nude brown. I don't know why, but on me it looks a little bit grayish. Just a hint. So I'm going to blend this part right here. Take your time. Don't press too hard with the brush. I mean, it doesn't have to be too blended because honestly it doesn't look extremely blended on this side. But, you know, take your time and uh, try your best. <laughs> I believe in you. I'm gonna go back with the red and make it more intense because as you can see, it's like wiping off. These eyeshadows are pretty beginner friendly, so I do recommend them, but if you are a pro in eyeshadows and all that stuff, you will think this formula is not the best. That's my opinion as well. I think this formula... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be shady, but I think Makeup Revolution's formula is not extremely good, but for beginner friendly is perfect. So you can practice on it, you won't get frustrated because the pigmentation is not crazy intense, so it's like very forgiving when it comes to blending, but also when you blend it too much, the pigmentation kind of disappears. So you have to go back and build it up, but that's okay. Okay, next I'm going to take my detail brush and I'm going to cut the crease and take your time for this part because you want your both eyes to look at least similar, so take your time. Okay, not bad. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and with a little bit of micellar water, I'm going to um, clean this part. Nice. Next I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to apply my eyeshadow base. Okay, next I'm going to go back with that red and I'm going to buff a little bit these edges because um, we want a very diffused transition in between the shimmer and the matte. It looks a little bit patchy right here. I don't know why. Oh, it's okay though, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next I'm going to go with the Anastasia and Carly Bible eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go with the shade Moo. I'm using a flat small brush like this one and I'm going to pack this eyeshadow because apparently it's not as sparkly and shiny as I remember it. It's okay though, I think I have something that will take this to the next level. And you want to apply it over the red eyeshadow so you can get a nice transition in there. You see something like that. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking beautiful. And it took me like what, 10 minutes or maybe less? Or just let me look for something very sparkly and uh, boom in your face. I do have glitter, but I don't want to go with glitter. Oh, look at the difference. I hope the camera picks it. So I found this liquid glittery liner. And I know, I know, it's still glitter, but it's not in a powder form. That's super messy. I went crazy, so I'm going to take the same brush I applied the shimmer and blend this a little bit. It does look gorgeous. If I say so myself. Sorry guys, I was running out of natural light, so I had to switch to my studio light. I hope it's okay. By the way, I noticed that this, it does like separate. You see that right there? It's okay, because from far you won't tell, you won't tell. With lashes and stuff, you won't tell. Let's see how sharp this is. So we're done. We're done. We have to do the bottom lash line. You can leave it bare. You can apply a little bit of red and that's it. But let's see where my brain takes me. Wow! 
Oh my goodness, they look so good. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to go with a little bit of black and then with this red to buff the black out. But this time we're gonna stay in our lane because in my previous makeup tutorial, I extended the line uh, in front and then here in the back and it looks so beautiful, so dramatic. But today we're gonna stay in our lane, okay? I'm just gonna keep it simple. So I'm starting with a little bit of black. I'm picking the red shade and I'm going to buff this out. You guys, it's so windy out. I keep hearing this sound so freaking annoying. It's like, like continuously this sound on, especially on this window. I don't know why, cause these windows are pretty new. So I'm hearing that sound. I don't know if the mic picks it, but oh my goodness, it's so freaking annoying. It's so windy out and that usually happens. It's just me or this red is not red anymore. <laughs> like it looks pretty dark. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm gonna go with lashes and on my lips, I'm gonna go with obviously a nude lip. I would go with black lips, but I don't have a black lip stick. So nude it is then. Mm -mm. I want my lips to be very nude. So I feel like this lip liner is perfect. This is the lip foundation from Catrice, you guys. If you want a very long lasting lip liner, you need to get this one because um, it's kind of hard to remove it with micellar water. You need to use some type of oil makeup remover. Anyway, so I'm going to go with this Ilamasqua lip liner. What? This is a lipstick. <laughs> And I want just a little bit of color in there. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> of course you do. I don't want to use a lip gloss, but I feel like my lips are super dry and crusty. I need to use something uh, to make them feel a little bit more soft. So I think I'm going to go with a little bit of this Vaseline lip balm, whatever. I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand. Oh, it has a little bit of glitter in it. And I think that's perfect. Just a little bit. And I know it looks shiny. Yeah, it definitely looks like I have lip gloss on. <laughs> Whatever. Alrighty, so this is the final result. Honestly, I love how easy this was to achieve. And it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. Uh, by the way, I don't really like this liquid glittery eyeshadow because it gets separated in there in my creases and it looks crazy. But when I have my eyes open like this, you, um, you cannot see that. But I just took a close-up video of my makeup and it doesn't look that good anyway but that's another story you can like skip the glitter liner what you can skip the glitter eyeliner just go with shimmer on top i think i applied a little bit too much that's why it gets separated in the area anyway so you you guys this is the finished result i hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know if you guys would recreate this makeup look honestly i love it i had no idea what i wanted to film when i sat down into this chair two hours ago um and i came up and i came up with this cat eye half cut crease situation and i simply love it I hope you guys like it too. I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit because um, I'm gonna do my outro and also the lighting is not the best. I'm telling you, it's still sunny out, but the sun is not touching my window. It's like on that side, so <laughs> 
natural light is a little bit shady at this hour by the way is almost 8 p.m. so I'm complaining for nothing so that's it this is the tutorial let me know if you guys would give this makeup look a go also let me know if my videos are easy to follow if you understand all the steps just let me know all that down below because I love a feedback if it's negative, I will take it as constructive, so no worries, I won't get mad. But if you're rude, don't bother to leave a comment. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Let me know what do you think down below. Um, I don't know how to do my outros anymore. What the heck? I need to film a lot of TikTok, so you guys need to follow me on TikTok. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Wow. Calm down. Baby, calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down and do your outro. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you guys in my next one.